time now, I do so glad I come in. <coughs> Manfred. <coughs> Just a little German poem. <coughs> On chimneys? Magnificent. Beauty will look like a show horse. Positively overdressed, in fact, out here. That's very generous, Lord Fordham. Um, I haven't forgotten your birthday or anything, have I? No. May I be excused? Yes. <sighs> that didn't have her turning cartwheels with joy, did it? She's been like this for too long now. I wish she'd tell me why, but all she does is clam up. I shouldn't worry too much. It must be very difficult for her without her father and her real family. She'll snap out of it. You'll see. Darling, won't matter how cold it gets with this on. Doesn't he look a picture, Manfred? Yes, he's a good picture. Wonderful. He's a lucky horse, your beauty. If only I was as lucky with my chimney. Chimney? It's terrible. It's a disaster. I've got to get back to it. Are you pleased with your present? Yes. It was nice of your grandfather to send it. Do you miss him? I suppose so. What's the matter, Vicky? Nothing. It's just you've hardly smiled all week. You miss your father, don't you? Yes. I miss him too, you know. Is supper ready? Just about. I'd better wash up then. As, uh, oh, thank you. Reading this piece uh, the other day about cabbage trees, is it a chap made a chimney out of one of those? <laughs> Extraordinary. Cabbage tree. Would it not catch fire? No, apparently not. You see, the cabbage tree trunks are soft inside. Well, he um, hollowed it out and just popped it up on the hearth. <laughs> and it made a chimney. Yes, exactly. That's wonderful. That's what I will do. Honestly, Manfred, the iron will be here soon. No, no, this is much better. I would need quite a big cabbage tree for my chimney. There's one down in the gully. By Mr. Coates's place. Yes, I know the one. It would be perfect. <laughs> oh, Manfred. It's not such a bad idea. It's not such a good idea either. Honestly, wait for the iron. It'll be better. I think I'm going to go to bed now. Good night, everybody. Good night. I'm going to say good night to Beauty. All right. Don't be out there too long. No. Let them go and make a chimney. It might help to snap a Vicky out of it. 
Hmm? Oh, yes, you're probably right. Actually, I was thinking about something else. That gully, the one where the cabbage tree is. I had quite a debate about it with Mr Coates. I'm certain that it's our property, but he seems to think that it's his. In fact, he was very forceful on the subject. Was he now? <laughs> That'd be typical. <laughs> He's coming up a treat. Pity I can't say the same about your bedroom this morning. I'll tidy it later. I'll see you when I get back. And don't forget your history lesson. <laughs> Vicky, what'd you say we go get our tree? But didn't Jenny She just to... thinks I can't make a chimney out of a cabbage. But I shall prove I can and... And I'll save some money. She'll like that. Huh? All right, then. I'll settle beauty. Now, come with me first. Come on. With this, I can saw through a mountain. It's a bit on the big side. Well, the tree's big. About 50 feet, you think? No. More like 40. Well, 40 is big. I need this saw. If it's got two handles, don't you need two men to make it work? Would Matt fit to do the job? Matt Would you mind if I went on ahead? I'd like to give Beauty a decent ride. No, no, go ahead. Took you so long? Nothing. It's not such a big tree. It's really just a baby. saw is used to big trees. That's the problem. It's afraid of hurting little ones.
I think it will be best if you stay away from here. When it comes down, this tree will make a lot of damage. But you said it was just a baby. Oh, yeah. I'll be through it in no time. Beauty could chew through it faster than that. <laughs> <laughs> Will not be long, and it's down. The saw is beginning to like cabbage after all. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Hey! What are you doing on my land, scaring me sheep? Your land? Yeah. This land belongs to my father. You should keep your sheep off. Hey, you! Leave that tree alone! What? You got no right to be here, either of you. That's not true. Is that so? Get out of the way! The tree's coming down! Get out of the way! I don't think he's hurt very bad, do you? I don't know. I tried to tell him. I tried to tell him you heard me. a tree to kill him. I think. All right. I'm gonna lift the tree now. When it's up, I'm gonna pull you out. Got back. Look, I, um, I've been having a look at these old survey maps. She's supposed to be doing her lessons. Mm, well, perhaps she's finished them. Oh, that'll be the day. Have you been upstairs? No, as I said, I've just got back. Oh. And then. I may just be going out again. Help as quick as possible. I'll go on, Beauty. Don't worry, I'll stay with you. Listen, I don't know how bad he's hurt. It'll be dark soon, and I really don't know if he will live through the night. Oh, will she ever be tidy? Vicky, I'll cut the poles while you are gone, but you have to bring me some good, strong cloth to make the stretcher, you understand? Yes. 
Then ride. some bandages. Manfred needs some strong clubs! You know what he needs better than I do. Country's too rough. Well, I hope you've got some bright ideas about how to get him out of there. We have. Not very well, I think. Is that all you could find? I'm sorry. The law's gonna hear about this. <clears throat> to live? I'm afraid so. Better stay away from cabbage trees in the future. I'm sorry, I just... I just wanted to save some money. You two are going to have to learn to be a little less headstrong. But you did behave sensibly in the end. I'm sorry, Jenny. That's all right. And Mr. Coates is going to be just fine. Ah! Ah! See what I mean? <laughs> It had to be Beauty's new cover, didn't it? Never mind, my love. I'm sure he understands. Now, why don't you go to bed and I'll finish here. Good night, Beauty. You ought to keep that girl under control. She's a menace. And that German coming onto my land, chopping down trees. Yes, it's funny you should mention that, Mr. Coates. Mate? I've been checking on the titles to that land, the survey maps, that sort of thing, and I checked to the survey office by telegraph. Sir? So. Well, it doesn't belong to you. Never has. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, take a look for yourself. Since you're going to be our guest for the night, you may as well have some bedtime reading. It's a lovely picture. I'm sure you'll feel better if you can see it all the time. What I don't understand is why you needed to hide it. I didn't want to hurt you. Vicky. She's your mother. You love her. I want you to remember her. Yesterday was her birthday. Oh, my darling. I don't want you to keep bottling these things up. I know how difficult it is for you here, especially with your father missing. It's just as bad for you. I love you. I love you too. He'll come back. I know he will. Of course he will. Until then, it's you and me, right? And beauty, of course. <laughs> of course. 